On this Aspirus Medical Monday, Local 3's Brianna McLean spoke with medical professionals about Suboxone, a medication used to treat opioid addiction. Brianna? According to the National Center for Drug Abuse Statistics, in the past year, Michigan saw 2,385 overdose deaths, with 78% of those resulting from opioids. Abusing opioids like Oxycontin and Vicodin can lead to addiction and overdose. Dr. Jason Bombard from Aspirus Ironwood explains what the opioid crisis looks like in the Upper Peninsula. In general, Michigan has some of the highest rates of opioid deaths and opioid abuse uh, across the nation. And the UP, despite being a rural area, has not been spared from that. Um, it's actually got a lot of things here going on that contribute to this crisis. And part of that is the fact that there is a lot of unemployment. There are a lot of uh, financial issues that certainly do drive these other issues as well. Um, and I think one of the biggest problems here in this area is just a lack of resources and a lack of access to treatment, which is one of the reasons why you know, we're here hoping to try to help with that. The good news is that there are medications to help treat narcotic dependence, including Suboxone, which is the first medication to treat opioid use disorder. So Suboxone is a medication designed to help people with opioid use disorder um, in conjunction with counseling and mental health services, of course. And what it's designed to do is um, decrease the severity of withdrawal symptoms if someone is just starting um, treatment with, with Suboxone. The other thing it's designed to do is uh, decrease cravings, which ultimately will help people have you know better long-term success rates with treatment on it also. Uh, and one other neat thing about the medication is that it is available in uh, dissolving tablets and dissolving films. So it's easy for someone to take on a daily basis at home without needing to go into treatment centers. Aspirus Health offers certified Suboxone prescribers who are able to assist patients to overcome opioid use disorder. Suboxone is one of the few treatments that exist in what we consider medication-assisted treatment of opioid abuse. And in order to prescribe Suboxone, you do have to go through some special training and get a special waiver from the DEA to be able to prescribe that. So um, it's not something that everybody is comfortable with doing, and it's something that is really necessary. And um, as this opioid crisis continues to worsen, it is one of the really proven things that can be helpful. So so trying to get as many people out there prescribing, especially in areas like this where prescribers can be few and far between, I think is very important. To learn more about treatment for opioid use disorder or Suboxone, talk to your primary care doctor or schedule an appointment today by visiting Aspirus.org. In the studio, Brianna McLean, Local 3 News.